I want to start by saying Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Kahala Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Kahala Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that tell me this doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shalom unto the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means He is or He exists. By Hashem, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, we know His name to be Yahweh Shai, which means He is the deliverer, He is the Savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your Father. By Hashem, in the name of the Rakak Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit, the able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. If a so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American of this fickle bird, Looking like the other nations in your spirit, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahab, Hashem, and Mashiach. Then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off foreign after false gods and false idols. Now following the law, such a commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent to captivity. But through our Lord Yahab, Mashiach, and Mashiach being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, He's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of the holy scriptures to be able to give the understanding to the very elect the ones that would be quickened with the understanding of prophecy and would be able to understand the future events and the judgment that Yahweh shema Shai would be bringing down upon uh, this eon upon this time which is the rulership of esau edom the so-called white man the rothschilds the rockefellers the oppenheimers the duponts the warbergs the ships okay which they are the ungodly okay there's Nationality is actually the biblical Edomites. Okay, they are the wicked, the ungodly, the border of wickedness, and they would come forth with great wrath because they know that they would have but a short time. And they would come forth with their new one order, the Novus Order Secorium, which is on the back of your dollar bill, which is a one world government, a one world military, and a one world religion. And that one world religion is the people bowing down to the image of Baal, okay, bowing down to the image of the beast. Okay, which is the revival of the Roman Empire, America spearheading the charge, and NATO joined unto it, okay, and bowing down to their image, which is their 2030 agenda, to have everyone have a mark embedded inside their hand or their forehead to be able to control their buying and selling, okay, and their mark, okay, their mark, which is something physical they want to embed inside their hand or your forehead, which is you, you see on the screen. It says, Musk says Neuralink will give people superpowers as second human uh, gets implanted. Okay, so this is Esau Edom offering up his pseudoscience because nothing can be given to you unless it's from Yahweh by Shemel Shai. If you have any type of talent, okay, the Lord has the, is the one that has given it to you. Okay, if you're able to be healed, the Lord has given that to you. But if the Lord deletes you, the Lord also has done that. Okay, and what Esau Edom is trying to do is bring in his pseudoscience, say that he is a God when he's nothing but a mortal man. Okay, so when I read this, um, article from coin telegraph right um so yesterday it says must says Neuralink will give people superpowers as second human gets implanted so the books that are you know the movies that are written about the marvel characters and things like that that's actually written about the israelites the hebrew israelites okay it's not written about these heathen nations because these heathen nations are not um the lords far as um the lord's portion Okay, the one the Lord has chosen, which are you Israelites. They're the only ones that are going to have what superpowers, immortality, and these things that Esau Edom is offering up for as far as their pseudoscience. Okay, so I want to touch on <coughs> far as the Lord, you know, giving you everything that you have. Okay, draw me 32 and 39. It says, see now that I am, I even, I am he. And there is no God with me. I kill, I make alive, right? I wound, I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. So if you're paraplegic, the Lord is the one that um, has put you in a position far as going to your sins, okay? It might have been your sins from your past life or this life, okay? But the point is, is that Yahab Bashim Rashai controls everything, okay? He can be able to heal you like he's healing um, the Lord, the hopeful elect, far as with this word, with this truth. And he can make you alive by having this truth. Or he can make you walking around in the, in the congregation of the dead. Okay? As far as you don't know your identity. You don't know that Yahweh Shema Hashai controls both good and evil. Okay? And that self is a, is a gift. Okay? From Yahweh Shema Hashai is a, is a superpower to be able to know um, what is actually going on in the world. Okay? Which is prophecy. Right? It's being, it's being fulfilled. Okay, and the Lord is giving warning to his elect, okay, the ones that would believe, the ones that would cry and sigh.
for all the abominations that are done upon the earth. Let's read this again. See now that I am he, right? I even, I am he, there is no God with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, I heal, neither is there any that can deliver you out of my hand. For if I lift my, for if I lift my hand to heaven and I say I live forever, if I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold of judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and I reward them that hate me. Okay, and Esau Edom has a perpetual hatred for you Israelites. Okay, that's why he would come with the mark of the beast because he wants everyone to be under his rulership because he has a God complex and he thinks he is the most high. Okay, so he's coming with what his pseudoscience, right? <laughs> Second Thessalonians 2 and 4, who oppose and exalt himself above all that is called the Most High, or that has worshipped so that he is the Most High, sitting in the temple of that power, showing himself that he is the Most High. Okay, and that's what Esau Edom does. He believes that he is um, Yahweh Shemel Shai, that he has control over life and death. Okay, when he doesn't, the Lord is the one that issues out whether you, again, whether you live or whether you die. Okay. But he uses vessels to be able to um, bring it forth, okay? And Esau, Edom is the uh, the vessel of wrath fitted for destruction, okay? Isaiah 45 and 7, I form the light. I create darkness. I make peace. I create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. So, Yahweh, Shemosh, is the one that does all the things, um, you know, uh, whatever that your talent is, okay? Whatever that, you know, to be able to, for instance, the, the ICBM missile, Okay, these scientists, they get all the credit, but it's actually Yahweh Shema Hashai that created the smith that blow up the coals. Okay, these different athletes, they're involved in sports and things like that. They have these uh, talents, okay, but it's Yahweh Shema Hashai that gave them that talent. Just like um, Esau Edom, he's been given uh, the fatness of the earth, which is the control of the money system, okay, um, to be able to have, you know, these different uh, scientists come in and, and these different... Uh, um, seem like they're, you know, they're smart on the left hand side, or seem like they're, you know, they're they're doing doing good things, but they're actually doing evil things, okay? Because their wisdom is actually the wisdom that's going to lead them to destruction, okay? So going back, let me read it one more time. Second Thessalonians two and four: Who oppose and exalt himself above all that is called the Most High. Or that is worship, so that he is the Most High, sitting in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Okay, and your temple is what uh, your actual body. Okay, and we are that temple of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, the household of faith, the tabernacle of David. Okay, so when you defile yourself with the things of this world, okay, you're not of the Lord. You're not pure. Okay, meaning that you're profane. You're outside the temple, and that's what you have. Certain groups they're trying to mix the worldly uh, doctrines with the pure. Okay, and it's it's the and, and what it happens is um, they are defiled, okay, because the word is pure. They can't do nothing against the truth or for the truth. The Lord has sent out um, the truth, but also to the ones that are going to deceive the Lord's, um, the ones that are not of the elect. Okay, so First Corinthians three and sixteen in the NLT. Don't you realize that all of you together are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of our power lives in you? Okay, so we are the temple. It doesn't come with observation. Okay, we are the temple of the Lord. Okay, but this kingdom of Esau Edom's, his heaven has to be destroyed first. Okay, then the kingdom of heaven will come that will be here on earth, which is the kingdom of Yahshua Allah, Yahweh Shai being king of king, Lord of hosts, the tabernacle of David. Okay, that's why the Lord has given us this wisdom to be able to uh, build up a spiritual temple to offer up what um, holy sacrifices. Again, holy. First Peter 2 and 5, yeah, as lively stones are built up, a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Yeah, acceptable, okay? Because you have people that are out there on the highways and the byways, but they're not offering up acceptable uh, sacrifices. Why? Because they're building in vain. Because if you don't have, if you're not eating the whole roll, then you're doing it in vain. If you don't have the true name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, then you're doing it in vain, Okay? Again, spiritual sacrifices, right? Let's read this in the NLT. And you, and you are living stones that our power is building into his spiritual temple, okay? What's more, you are his holy priest. Through the meditation of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, you offer spiritual sacrifices that please the Most High. Yeah, that please the Most High, okay? 
Ephesians 4 and 22, that you put off concerning the former conversation of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and put on a new man, which after our power has created righteousness and true holiness. So true holiness, what fellowship, you know, there is with, with Baal, okay? And so that's what you have with the with uh, particularly IOIC. They're not they're not telling you that the mark of the beast is an implant that is something physical, physical. So they are what defiled with the uh, the ways of this world. Okay, this is right here, Ephesians four and fourteen. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind and doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Okay, and that's what you have is these certain uh, camps out there. They don't want to speak about the mark of the beast being something physical and been inside your hand or your forehead. Why? Because they have been bought and paid for. Okay, so what they'll do is they'll come in with fables like uh, burning for he burning in hell forever. Uh, we don't have the name. Okay, they're nothing but what um, damnable heresies. Okay, nothing but the sleight of hand. Let's read this in the NLT. There will no longer be an immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us, okay, with lies so clever that they sound like the truth, okay? And also, this is another one. Because it's speaking about the temple, because we're abiding in the Lord. Okay, so the Lord has given us insight of these mysteries of the of the of the um, the deep mysteries of the Holy Scriptures, and one of them is the mark of the beast. First Corinthians six and nineteen in the NLT. Don't you realize that you are the socket? Don't you realize that your body is the temple of that Holy Spirit who lives in you, who lives in you, and was given to you by the Mosai, and you do not belong to yourself. Yeah, we don't belong to ourselves. Okay, but the Lord has given us life, has given us that breath, okay, those sinews mixed with that breath to be able to know our identity. That gives us life. John 6 and 63, it is the spirit that quicketh the flesh, profit nothing. The words that I speak into you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay, these are life. So we're able to be awake far as spiritually and mentally being quickened. Okay, uh, but physically we're still in, uh, you know, still in chains under what Esau Edom's rulership. Okay, so we have to see all the things that this devil is doing okay as far as all prophecy has to be fulfilled right so we have to see this devil coming out with this pseudoscience and coming out with that saying that he is the most high <clears throat> okay let's read this in the nlt second thessalonians 2 and 4 he will exalt himself and that's what he's doing with this um uh, micro see him okay elon musk uh sikron um you know, Bill Gates, okay, these different uh, Bezos, these different, uh, you know, cult of personalities, okay, they're all speaking about the digital ID. They're all speaking about, um, in some form or way, of AI technology, artificial intelligence, okay, which goes right into Revelation 13 and 16, which is the mark, right, the implant. Second Thessalonians 2 and 4 in the NLT, he will exalt himself and defy everything that people call the most high. Yeah, and that's what he's doing. Okay, pushing what uh, uh, Satan worship, okay, uh, pushing man on man, pushing woman on woman, okay, pushing bestiality, okay, um, you know, pushing that do as that will spirit, okay, he will exalt himself and defy everything that people call the most high and every object of worship, okay, and what did he do? He, he covered up the faces of the judge of the rough, he put forth that pale face image of Caesar Borgir. Okay, which goes back to Serapis Christi, which today is what Jesus Christ, okay, which is a false, uh, which is a deity, okay, because our Lord um, is not a so-called white man, okay, he doesn't have long stringy hair, according to the Holy Scriptures, okay, and he would be a so-called black man of today, okay, he came out the tribe of Judah, okay, and in that, okay, is a spiritual power in itself, okay, knowing who you are, knowing your identity, that's showing you that the Lord is giving uh, mercy, Okay, mercy and truth. Okay, they're 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 kissing each other as far as they're showing reverence uh, to what to the hopeful elect to be able to be woken up to uh, for those uh, those imaginations to be cast down as far as the things of this world. Okay, because the elect are not deceived by the enchantments and the sorcery and the the woo of uh, Esau Edom. Okay, Second Thessalonians two and four. He will exalt himself and defy everything that people call the Messiah and every object of worship. He will 
even sit in the temple of the Most High, claiming that he himself is the Most High. And that's what he's doing with his what pseudo science. Okay, if you, if you if you're paraplegic, hey, take this. Now you can be able to walk, or you can be able to have movement in your um, extremities. Right? Um, you can't see. Hey, you can uh, you can be able to take this, and you can be able to see. Okay. Second Thessalonians two and eight. It says, and then the wicked shall be revealed, whom the Lord Yahavashai shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. So the spirit of the Lord's mouth is with the prophets. Okay. Hebrews 1 and 1, the Lord has always spoken uh, by the prophets to give what the warning. Okay. But it, the thing is, is that the two thirds are going to reject um, the Lord Yahavashai's word, the Lord's wisdom. Okay. That can be able to save them. Okay. And they're going to follow the ways of the broad way. Okay. And the spirit of the Lord's mouth are what, again, the prophets, right? The prophets have been given what? The mysteries, okay? The judgment that's going to be coming down, okay? But also what the um, uh, the prosperity far is, the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Amos 3 and 7, Surely the Lord thy power would do nothing, but he revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. So we've been revealed to what? The secrets, okay? Freely as you receive, freely as you're supposed to give, okay? But not everybody's going to receive the message, Okay? And that's just the point of it. Only the elect is going to be able to attain the truth, while the rest are going to be blinded by the God of this world. Matthew 13, 11, He answered and said unto them, Because it is given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them is not given. So it's not going to be given to everyone. Okay? But it is going to be spoken in front of everyone. Everyone, they can't say that they uh, didn't hear it. Okay? Because the Lord is what having it right out in the open. Okay? Yep, Isaiah 45 and 19 in the NLT, I publicly proclaim bold promises, yeah, that the Lord would save those that um, follow that straight path, which would be the hopeful elect, the elect. I do not whisper obscurities in some dark corner, so the Lord's not just saying it over in the corner. That's why we're not supposed to just say it in the corner, okay, because the city can't be hid, okay, we can't be hid. This knowledge, wisdom, understanding um, is... A conversation that's happening in public, but it's actually only only the elect can be able to understand. Okay, Isaiah forty five and nineteen. I publicly proclaim bold promises. I do not whisper obscurities in some dark corner. I would not have told the people of Israel to seek me, right? Because that's what the Lord is doing. He's called us. Okay, we know that we're Israelites. Okay, we know we've been called, but we're praying we're of that chosen. We're praying we're of that few to be able to endure to the end. I would not have told people of Israel to seek me, right? And how does the Lord do that? By the spirit of, of, of the Lord's mouth, which are the prophets, right? To seek me if I could not be found. I, Yahweh, speak only what is true and declare only what is right, okay? And again, the Lord has what? Given the secrets to what the prophets and the prophets would be what? Giving the warning, okay, of, of the impending uh, dangers if you don't follow his ways, okay? But also the, the impending salvation, okay, if you follow what that straight path. Isaiah 42 and 9, behold, the former things have come to pass. So the time of Noah, you know, Egypt, you know, us being in hardcore slavery. Okay, behold, the former things have come to pass and new things do I declare. So this new thing is what um, is the rollout of the mark of the beast. Okay, the new things do I declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. Okay, and who is the Lord tell? But well, again, the prophets. Okay. And again, the story was already written from the beginning. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8, and then the wicked shall be revealed. And who is the wicked? Esau, Edom, the one that's bringing out the uh, bringing out the, uh, the brain implant, okay? And they're saying that it's something as a convenience when it's actually really to be able to control the people, okay? And then the wicked shall be revealed. Yeah, Esau, Edom, the so-called white men, the international bankers, okay? And then the wicked shall be revealed, whom the Lord, Yahavashah, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yeah, because his plans are being um broken down piece by piece by what the prophet speaking this word okay it says nine even him whose coming is after the working of satan with all power signs and lying wonders so this is esau edom because they are the uh, physical counterpart of the spiritual demon of satan on the left hand side okay and what are they coming with they're coming with their false uh, uh miracles okay their right hand is the right hand of falsehood okay so this word lying, 
right? Because he said that um, they're going to have superpowers, right? Okay, but they're not. <laughs> it's all, it's all. You know, Strong G, 5579. Sue Das. Sue Because the only people that are going to have superpowers are the children of Israel, right? Sue Das. Greek 5579, a lie, okay? A straight up lie. And that's their whole, um, that's the whole thing about Esau Edom, okay? He's there to deceive you, okay, and to delete you, okay? And if he can't deceive you far as doing it slowly, and that's what he likes to do. He likes to do it slowly, slowly, you know, taking you out bit by bit. And that's why Yahweh Shema Shai is doing that too with him, okay? Bit by bit, Esau Edom is being taken out. His economy, his petrodollar is being taken away. His, uh, his, his big time dream, his new one order, where he can be able to watch everyone from, from you know, his bunker, Okay, um, deceive the Israelites, have them in, a, you know, basically in a mind state of, um, you know, worshiping him. Okay, which is just a mortal man. So they come with these lies, a conscious, intentional falsehood. Yeah, it's very conscious. Okay, when you go to Psalm 64 and 5, it speaks about the heart is deep. Okay, that they encourage themselves in evil matters. Okay, and they what? Also, they, um, they uh, seek to crush the poor. Okay, which you are the poor. Okay, we're on the we're on the bottom. We are the poor because we don't have a military. Okay, we don't have these different uh, resources like Esau Edom has. Okay, but again, his his uh, luxuries are, are are coming to an end. Okay, by us receiving this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and speaking this word. Okay, it's exposing Esau Edom to his court. Okay. This is uh, Psalms 10 and 2. The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the vices they have imagined. Yeah, so the devices, their evil plans. Okay, but not to follow his ways, not to follow the broad way, to not trust in his lies. Okay. This is, yeah, conscious, intentional falsehood. In a broad sense, whatever is not what it seems to be. Perverse, impious, deceitful precepts. Yeah, so impious goes into they don't show reverence to Yahabah Shema Shai. They they see themselves as the most high. Okay, that's why when you go into the uh the Kai Sai Sigma, the six six six, okay, in Revelation thirteen eighteen, it goes into them anointing themselves on the left hand side with their what their um their pseudoscience, okay, and then ultimately having that physical stigma embedded inside the people um uh in the in the people, okay, inside their hands or their foreheads. Okay, but the elect are able to know what it is even right now. Okay, Lord willing, we hold on to that wisdom, that crown of wisdom, right? Perverse, yeah, because they're coming with a very perverse nature. It's going to be ugly out here, a time of Jacob's trouble, where there's no food, there's no water, there's no shelter. And many people are going to pierce themselves through, okay, on uh, just, uh, you know, wanting to eat or be able to have shelter. Okay, but it speaks about uh, never trust thine enemy for like iron is rusted, so is his wickedness. Okay, and if he doeth good, he doeth it willingly, and at last he will declare his wickedness. Okay, again, Esau Edom is a, is a niggard at the table. He wants every crumb of, of anything that you have, including your life. He wants to merge you, uh, you know, merge you with robot so he can be able to control you. Okay, so pseudos, falsehood, right? And that's what he's coming with, the pseudoscience. Okay, and many people are going to be deceived. Right, but the elect, we, we see it. Okay, that's why this is a blessing. That's why we go over this uh, breakdown um, of the mark of the beast over and over again. Okay, just like the apostles have taught us to. Okay, why? Because you you see something, say something. We're supposed to report on it. Okay, that's that's part of being Ezekiel three and seventeen, being a watchman. Okay, watchman for what? The children of Israel. Okay, who? What are we watching for? The prophecies. Watching for what this devil is doing, so we can be able to report it to what are the children of Israel, the elect. Okay, Psalms one forty four and seven. Send thy hand from above. That hand is Yahweh Shai. Rid me and deliver me out of the great waters. Yeah, because those great waters is what Esau Edom coming in like a flood. Okay, his military. Okay, his super soldiers. Okay, because in the sense he's gonna have super soldiers and these, these these robot dogs and things like that which we, we see going on from boston dynamics okay but as far as spiritual powers they're not going to have those those are going to be for what the the lord's um chosen people okay which are the israelites 
Send thy hand from above and rid me and deliver me out of the great waters from the hands of strange children. Yeah, these are strange children that want to enter inside your body with the device so they can be able to track and trace you and <clears throat> how many times you're having sex with your wife, where you're going, what you're saying, and what you're doing. Okay, these are strange children, right? And also going into them being strange, their philosophies, okay? Because their philosophies are of, of the left hand, okay? They're pushing what they are an idol, okay? And it speaks about that in... Uh, what is that? Wisdom of Solomon 13. Let me see if I can get the Wisdom of Solomon 13. Because they are saying that they are the ones that have given, you know, that they give life. Okay, when they're just mortal men. So this is Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 1. I'm going to go down to 4. Surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of the Mosai. And that's what they are. Okay, because they are the vessel of wrath fitted for destruction. Okay, they can never do right. Right? So they are ignorant of the Most High and could not, out of good things that are seen, know him that is neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the workmaster. So they never acknowledge Yahweh Shema Shai. Why? Because the Lord has never been with Esau. He has never been with the wicked. Okay? Far as giving them true wisdom. The Lord has given them uh, basically. Uh, these certain technologies so they can be able to destroy their own kingdom, right? Vessels of wrath for different destruction. The word Esau is an omen omen, which means what? Wasted away. Wasted away he is, okay? Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 2. But deemed either fire or wind or swift air or a circle of stars or violent water or lights of heaven to be the gods which govern the world, okay? False idols and false gods. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods, let them know how much better the lord of them is for the first author of beauty hath created them but if they were astonished at their power and virtue let them understand by them how much mightier he is that made them okay so how much greater yahabah shemashai is that made him okay that made everything okay and the, and the lord is not what um uh, these graven images okay the lord is something that you have to believe in Okay, and you see him through everything in the world. Okay, beholding what good and evil, as I just read in the beginning. Psalms 96 and 4, for Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised, is to be feared above all gods. So, and that's what you're about to see is that these people worshiping Allah, worshiping Buddha, worshiping white pale face image. Okay, they're about to be out in the streets. They're about to be in obscurity. Okay, they're about to be in confusion because they, they trusted in what the gods of this world and trusted in also Esau Edom because they're going to what? End up taking the mark of the beast. For Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised and to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. And that's what Esau Edom is coming with. He's saying that he is the most high. Okay. Psalms 144 and 8. Whose mouth speaketh vanity. Yeah, full of lies, full of deception. And their right hand is the right hand of falsehood. Okay, because again, they are the, the, the right hand socket. They are the um, this physical. Let me see if I can get that. They are the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon of Satan. Revelation 16 and yep, right here. Revelation 16 and 14. For there, for they are the spirits of devils. Okay, devil goes into deceiver. Okay, Satan goes into adverse of what the holy scriptures. Okay, Revelation 16 and 14. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, okay? These are miracles, okay? A person that couldn't walk for, you know, however amount of time now can walk. Or a person that had no movement in their hands, now they can be able to uh, have movement in their hands, okay? But we know it's what of the devil. We know that what the Lord has given them power to be able to, you know, do these certain uh, uh, miracles to be able to deceive the people, okay? Deceive who? The ones that the, the Lord doesn't want, right? Revelation 16 and 14. For they are the spirits of devils working mirrors, which go forth unto the kings of the earth of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of the Most High Almighty. Okay, because really that's what's going on. World War Three is already brewing. Iran uh, is already beefing with Israel, saying we're gonna we're gonna you hit our uh, one of our leaders, so we're gonna hit you up. That's gonna lead to all-out war. But what has to happen first? The rollout of the mark of the beast. Okay, that brain implant. Okay, uh, Revelation thirteen and sixteen, right? They have to come with their come with their um with the mark of the beast because that's mandatory, that's 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 a prophecy, okay. 
We read it, uh, read it in the NLT, Revelation 16 and 14. They are demonic spirits who work miracles. They are demonic spirits who work miracles on the left-hand side. Okay, Chi, Psi, Sigma. That word Psi, okay, goes into the uh, the Greek, that X. Okay, when you have you have Twitter, uh, now it's known as X, which is owned by Elon Musk. Okay, and he's saying that he's against the government and all that, but he's for it. That's why he'll wear the, the, the Balfamint. He was at the Meta Gala with the Balfamint. Um, uh, you know, a jacket, okay? And, and there's a list of other things. First of all, the, the test that he was doing on the monkeys and, and all that all that stuff, okay? Uh, <laughs> you know, that just shows you who he is. That's a, that's a strange child, okay? Those are strange ways. Those are not our ways, right? Revelation 16 and 14, they are demonic spirits who work miracles and go out to the rulers of the world to gather, gather them for battle against the Lord on that great day, of the Mosai and the Almighty, yeah, because also they have SpaceX Six, okay. In the midst of World War Three, okay, you're gonna have, uh, you know, you have Abu Shapat, Abu Godwan, which are all the same thing, okay. But in the midst of, of that, of the, all that going on, you're gonna have them trying to fight against what our Lord Yahweh shot, okay, and the Archangel Michael, and they're gonna be destroyed, okay. So going back to this, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. Okay? And again, Satan, right, is on, working on the left-hand side of the Lord. Right? He's the left hand of the Lord. Okay? Because the Lord controls both good and evil. Right? But this is, uh, but, the, but the man, okay, Esau Edom is the wicked. So he's doing the things on the left-hand side. Right? So when you go to Greek 45, 67, Centenaeus, right, a Satan-like man, okay? So he would be adverse to the Holy Scriptures. He would be pushing things as they are good, okay, but they would be uh, they would be uh, actually evil. Yeah, the accuser, that's another way how you know who Esau Edom is, okay? The accuser, Revelation 12 and 10, okay, where he's going to be accusing us of, of sedition because we're reading the Bible. Okay, devil going into deceiver, Satan going into adverse to what the Holy Scriptures. Okay, this is Esau, Edom to the court, right? Second Thessalonians 2 and 10, and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness, and then perish because they receive not the love of truth, but they might be saved. Yeah, so that's the two-thirds. Two-thirds of our people are going to reject this knowledge, wisdom, understanding that can be able to be saved. Then. Okay, let's read this in the NLT. Second Thessalonians 2 and 10. It says he will use every kind of evil deception to fool those on their way to destruction because they refuse to love and accept the truth that would save them. And that's what it is. Two thirds of our people reject Yahab Bashem are going to reject this word. OK, and they're going to be deceived by the by the ways of Esau Edom. OK, 11. So the Mosai, Yahab Bashem will cause them to be greatly to deceive and they will believe these lies. They, and then they will be condemned for enjoying evil rather than believing the truth. Yeah, they will be condemned, meaning they're going to be caught up in the lake of fire. They're going to take the mark of the beast, okay? Because what? The Lord has the, uh, has blinded them, okay, to be able to receive this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, okay? <clears throat> so it says, Must says, Must says Neuralink will give people superpowers as second human gets implant okay so what is the neural link the brain implant right the brain computer interface has already changed lives but it's unclear how it will give people eagle vision or make their neurons fire more quickly okay and again this power is only given to what the children of israel okay elon musk brain computer interface bci startup Neuralink has evidently begun its second human trial the news came during an episode of lex friedman podcast where it must Unceremonially revealed that the second human trial was successful so far, so good. Okay. It says Musk went on to say that the second implant is functioning properly about 400 electrodes providing signals. Neuralink's brain computer interface, right? Brain computer interface are electronic devices that allow humans to communicate with computers using their thoughts. While it might sound like science fiction, BCIs have been around for decades. Okay, the principle behind it is simple. Your brain's activity produces an electrical signal that machine can measure, just like the FM radio can be turned into intercept specific FM signals as distant, it's like a distinct broadcast or computer can interpret different electro electrical signals as distinct commands. So again, 
What are they pushing? The mark of the beast. Okay. Neuralink's first patient, Nolan Arbarg, had given numerous testimonies claiming that the device changed his life. The pseudoscience. Okay. In a broad sense, not what it seems to be. Right. Because again, it reacts different to everybody. Right. And again, the Lord told, told us not to take it. Okay. Arbarg was uh, paralyzed in a in a diving accident and lost his use of limbs. Since his experimental implant procedure, he's been able to control computer interfaces such as a mouse pointers to play video games and send text messages and surf the web using only his thoughts. Superpowers. Musk also told Friedman that beyond allowing humans to operate simple computer interfaces with thoughts, Neuralink would give them exceptional abilities. Let's give people superpowers by the billionaire okay this is according to must neuralink will make it possible to give humans thermal vision eagle vision and even restore blindness he also said it could uh severe right so again what what is that what i just read second thessalonians 2 and i'll read it in the nlt second thessalonians 2 and 9 this man esau edom the so-called white man okay this man will come to do the work of Satan, adverse to the Holy Scriptures, with counterfeit power and signs and miracles. He will use every kind of evil deception to fool those on their way to destruction because they refuse to love and accept the truth that would save them. Okay, 11. So our power will cause them to be greatly deceived and they will believe these lies. Then they will be condemned for enjoying either suck it for enjoying evil rather than believing in the truth yeah the truth that would set, set them free because the lord is going to give us uh, uh spiritual powers okay even right now by knowing what's going on let's let's get a couple uh because uh king david okay he fought thousands of men okay how does that happen right hopping over walls okay these certain things these stories were written for our foretelling that we may have hope Okay, this is one of them, right? Zechariah 10 and 3. My anger was kindled against the shepherds, and I punished the goats for Yahweh of hosts have visited the flock of the house of Judah and have made them as his goodly horse in battle. Yeah, the goodly horse in battle, right? Proud war horse in battle. Out of him came forth the corner out of it, out of him the nail, out of the battle bow, out of him every oppressor together. And they shall be as mighty men mighty warriors which tread down their enemies and their mire of the streets in the battle and they shall fight because Yahweh is with them and the riders on horses shall be confounded because that's really what it's about if Yahweh is with you okay because David wasn't the, the biggest man okay but he was able but he had that warrior spirit why because the Lord put that spirit upon him that's the same spirit that the elect are going to have okay let's read this in the NLT it says Zechariah 10 and 3, my anger burns against you shepherds. I will punish their leaders for Yahweh of heaven of armies has arrived to look after Judah, his flock. He will make them strong and glorious. He will, because again, what, what does Esau Edom have right now? Okay, they have the super soldiers. They have these super dogs. They have drones. Okay, they have ICBM missiles. They have all these things. So what would make what the tribe of, or, you know, the Israel... Uh, war horses, how would they be able to even uh, compete with that? The Lord would have to be with them, right? Superpowers, okay, to be able to see night vision. When you read Isaiah 59 and 19, that word standard goes into the Hebrew word nias, okay, which which goes into that, to take flight. I, Lord willing, I get that after. It says, to look after Judah, his flock, he will make them strong and glorious like proud war horse in battle. From Judah will come the corner cornerstone the tent peg the bow for the battle okay yeah from judah will come the cornerstone right the tent peg the bow for battle and all the rulers and they and they will be like mighty warriors in battle trampling their enemies in the mud under their feet since yahweh is with them they fight and they will overthrow even the enemy's horsemen it says, I will strengthen Judah and save Israel. I will restore them because of my compassion. It will be as though I had never rejected them, for I am Yahweh, thy power, who will hear their cries. Okay? It says, the people of Israel will become like mighty warriors. Their hearts will be made happy as if by wine. Their children, too, will see it and will be glad. Their hearts will rejoice in Yahweh Shemashai. 
when I whistle to them, right, they will come running, for I have redeemed them from few who are left. They will grow as numerous as they were before. Okay? So the Lord's going to make us those those uh, strong instruments, right? And in that day, right, the people are going to be willing in that day, right? Psalms 110 and 3, thy people shall be willing in that day of thy power. Yeah, when the Lord is with what truly with us, as far as he's with us right now in knowledge, wisdom, understanding, but when a lot of people have to see uh, the glorious power that the Lord's going to give his elect, okay? The people shall be willing in that day of power and the beauties of thy holiness from thy womb of mourning thou hast the dew of thy youth. So they're going to be willing in that day. Let's read this in NLT. When you go to war, your people will serve you willingly. You are arrayed in holy garments and your strength will be renewed each day like the morning dew. Yes, yeah, strength being renewed. Okay, because we have this type of strength. That's what set us above the nation as far as the law, and commandments, but also uh, our, our, our warrior spirit. Okay, when we're with our power, nothing can stop us, but we fell away. Okay, this is uh, Micah 4 and 13. Micah 4 and 13, arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion. Okay, daughter of Zion, speaking about the children of Israel, right? For I will make thy horn iron. Yeah, I will make thy horn, so horn going into power, iron. I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt beat into pieces many people. Beat into pieces, how are we going to do that if they're super soldiers? Okay, there must be some 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 great power that's going to give us, give us the, the strength to be able to do this, right? I will make thy horn iron. Iron, I will make thy hose brass, and thou shalt beat into pieces many people. I will consecrate their gain in Yahweh and their substance unto the Lord of thy whole earth. Let's read this at NLT. Rise up and crush the nations. How are we going to crush the nations if we're, if we're just that word? Okay, because the Lord is going to be with us. Okay, rise up and crush the nations, O Jerusalem, says the Lord, for I will give you iron horns. Okay, iron powers and bronze hooves. Yeah, so you be able to stomp someone out, right? Eight times stomp, bronze hooves, so you can trample many nations to pieces. And again, we're going to be able to, some of us are going to be able to fly, right? So you can trample many nations to pieces. You will present their stolen riches to Yahweh, their wealth to Yahweh of the earth. Yeah, their stolen riches, okay? Wherever they have them at, okay? Some of them in the ocean, some of them in these bunkers. Okay, we're going to give them to what you have a shy. Then you have a shy is going to distribute it out. Romans 8 and 16. Right. So. Yeah, right here. Let me let me go up, actually. Yeah, I'll read this part. It says. Yeah, right here. So this is this is what happened to us, right? Micah 4 and 10. It says, Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail, for now shall go forth out of the city, right? We were captives exile, right? And thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. Yeah, Babylon the Great. Thou shalt thou shalt be delivered. Yeah, delivered out of what? Babylon the Great. There Yahweh shall redeem thee from thy hand of thy enemies. Okay, the Lord's going to redeem us, right? How? By receiving this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. Now also many nations are gathered against thee that said, let her be defiled and let her eye look upon Zion. But they know the thoughts of Yahweh, neither understand they his counsel, for he had get, He shall gather them as the sheaves unto the floor. So the Lord's going to what? Gather us. Okay, he's gathering us by, the, by, the, by this word, right? Let's read this in NLT. But they do not know Yahweh's thoughts or understand. Yeah, because these are cardinal men. But they do not know Yahweh's thoughts or understand his plan. These nations, suck it. These nations don't know that he is gathering them together to be beaten and trampled like sheaves of grain on a threshing floor. Rise up and crush the nations of Jerusalem, says Yahweh, for I will give you iron and horns and bronze hooves so you can trample many nations to pieces. You will present the stolen riches to Yahweh that wealth the, the Lord Yahweh of earth. Okay, so again, spiritual powers, right? So when you see, um, you know, like Superman, because even uh, Superman, right? He was named. He has a Hebrew name. Yeah, Superman is named uh, Kahalau, okay, which means all power. That's in the Hebrew, 
okay? And his father's name is uh, Yara'ala, which means he will see, okay? And again, these are in the Hebrew, okay? And what did Superman have? He had that vision, okay, To that uh, Elon Musk was speaking about, right? Let's see, Luke 10. Yep, it says, Luke 10 and 19, it says, Behold, I will give you power to tread upon serpents. Yeah, behold, I will give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over the power of an enemy. Nothing shall be any means hurt you. So what is that? Everything, we're, we're, we're in these fragile bodies right now, okay? We got infirmities, neck hurt, knee hurt, back hurt, okay? So in that day, the Lord's going to give us these powers to be able to uh, endure Okay, to be able to have these, these superpowers, right? Let's, let's look up this word power and see what it says. Luke 10 and 19. Strong's G, 1849, Exousia. Exousia. Okay, Exousia. Okay, power of choice. Okay, and again, a man's goings are the Lord, how can he know his ways? But the Lord is guiding his elect down that straight path. There is no, we don't have a choice whether, whether we're of the elect or not. Okay, but the Lord has given us a gift, Ephesians 2 and 8. Right, liberty of doing as one pleases. Yeah, as the Lord pleases, because the Lord is the one that actually guides your steps. He's the one that gives you a prosperity, um, you know, far as um, the green pastures or adversity, okay, which is the ways of, of this world, right? Leave or permission. Okay, this is the point. Physical and mental power. Yeah, because mentally and spiritually, we're, we're being um, uh, quickened, uh, you know, to be able to stand against our adversaries. Okay, because again, it's not easy to be in the truth. Okay, because demon, you know, Ephesians 6 and 10 on down speaks about um, refined evils in, in uh, spiritual places. Okay, uh, principalities, right? So physical. Okay, physical. So <laughs> when it gets, now our weapons of warfare are not cardinal. But again, in that day, the Lord's going to lift up that standard. Isaiah 59 and 19, that word standard, nias, okay, which goes into take flight, disappear, these, these certain things, these spiritual powers. The ability or strength, which one is an endured, which he either possesses or exercises. Yeah, because it has to be given to you. The power of authority, influence, the right of privilege, the power of rule or government, a power of whom, whose will commands must be submitted by others and obeyed universally. Right. Yeah, right here. This is B. The leading and more powerful among created beings, superior to men, spiritual. Potentate. Spiritual potentate. Okay. Monarch or ruler, especially of a autocratic one, yeah, potentate. 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 Okay, and the Lord is what uh, raising us up. Okay, far as um, Yahweh Shai being the being the you know that the great good shepherd. Okay, and the Lord's elect uh, being what the uh, the holy priesthood, First Peter two and five. Okay, which would be kings, the um, Malachs or uh, Sakim Malak. Okay, which means king. Okay, and we are uh, far as um, Israel means uh, children of the uh, princes of the power, right? Yeah, a sign of regal authority or a crown. Yeah, let's look up this word regal real quick. Regal. Regal. A resembling a fit, a monarch, especially being magnified or dignified. And the Lord is, is because we're magnifying Yahabba Shemashah's name, and the, and the, the elect are going to be magnified in the end. Okay? Through what Yahabba Shai. Again, Romans 8. Okay? We are joint heirs. Okay? So in that day, the Lord is going to what? Raise up his men, the believers. Okay? They're going to have food, water, and shelter while the rest of the world is going to be starving. Okay? Yeah, a token, yeah, a token of control, okay? A sign of control. Delegated influence, right? Authority, jurisdiction, 
Okay. This reminds me of the C. Matthews. And this is what the elect's gonna have, right? This is uh which would be Yep, Matthew's 24 and 31, and he shall send his angels, right? And this is the return of the Lord. And he shall send his send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the earth. Oh, it's not yet. One end of heaven to the other. Okay, so this word elect, right? Because it goes into uh, what we're just going into far as that that word power and again who gives you any type of power you have by Shemuel Shai Lectos G fifteen eighty eight Eclectos Eclectos yep. to obtain salvation through the Messiah chosen elect okay the Messiah Yahavashai Hamashiach is called the elect as appointed by the Messiah to the most exalted office conceivable choice select i.e. the best of its kind the best of its kind the regal okay the best of its kind class excellence Permanent, applied to certain individual. Yes, yeah, certain individuals, not everyone. Okay? The Lord's uh, uh, chosen people are the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites. Okay? But of those chosen those chosen Israelites, okay, there's actually the elect of Israel. Okay? Which would be the first fruits. Right? Uh, what is that? James 1 and 17. Chosen, elect, favorite. Yeah, favorite to be able to receive these spiritual powers. Okay? And you go to the root word of this, the Greek 1586. Eglomari. Strong's G, 1586. Eclegomai. Eclegomai. Okay. Thayer's lexicon. Eclego. Eclego. Okay. And right there, what do you have? 144. Okay. Brachatei Haba Shai. Revelation 7 speaks about 12,000 at each tribe, 144,000 in the great multitude of believers. Okay, and a lot of those, uh, uh, a lot of the elect are going to have spiritual powers. Okay, they're definitely going to have food, water, and shelter. Isaiah 65 and 13 speaks about that. Choosing one for an office. Okay, Israelites, i.e., the Israelites, right? Pick out, choose. Select, so the Lord's going to select who has those spiritual powers, okay? And it's going to be what the Israelites, okay? It's not going to be these heathen nations. Right? So let me read this again. Luke 10 and 19. Look, I have given you authority over, over all the power of the enemy. You can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you, okay? So the Lord's going to give us these spiritual powers, but we got to what? Be patient, Okay? Also, the same thing is in Mark 16 and 17. Mark 16 and 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe in the name. Okay, showing you the name, which the name is the reputation. Okay, what the Lord's coming to do. And those that are denying Yahweh Hashem Shai are going to find themselves in the dark. And these signs shall follow them that believe in the name. They shall cast out devils. Yeah, cast out what Esau eat Okay, and anybody that's coming in that devil spirit, devil just means deceiver. They shall speak with new tongues. Okay, new, which goes into being. Re let's, let's see it. If it's the word refresh, or the word kind of Okay, the word Yep, kinos. Okay, which means refresh. Strong's G twenty five thirty seven, kainos. Kainos. Yep, recently made fresh. So just like you have a screen, okay, and it's all acting all up, that's what we were doing. We were acting up, and the Lord refreshed us, okay? 
and that word again, new means kainos, which means refresh. Same thing that's in Revelation 19. When it, when it said a new name, the name would be refreshed in our minds of who we are. Okay, Malachi um, 3 and 16, where it speaks about brought back to remembrance and that we would speak one another in fear. Fear of what? Yahabah Shema Shai. And going into what uh, the elect are going to be able to spiritually discern at the end. Okay, do our Lord Yahabah Shai HaMashiach. Okay, spiritually discern between right and wrong. So that word kainos, right? In the Greek 2537. Okay. So again, the new tongue. What is the new? What is the the, the tongue that's being refreshed? The the Paleo Hebrew, okay. Calling upon the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is very important, okay. It's what it's the milk of the of the scriptures, okay. The name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, okay. And knowing your identity, okay, because it's just a, a a language, right? In the Paleo Hebrew, it speaks about in Isaiah, and again, these are also spiritual powers, okay. If you have a spiritual eye. Isaiah 19:18 and the NLT and the day five of Egypt cities will follow Yahweh of heaven's armies They will even begin to speak the Hebrew language of Canaan One of these cities will be called the Hillenopolis the city of sun Okay, and the America is what spiritually Egypt. Okay, and where you have um, A Hillenopolis the city of sun you have what the obelisk in uh, Manhattan Okay, you have it in Washington DC you have it and the three city states of uh, the Vatican and Rome and uh, in London, okay? Why? Because again, they worship the sun, and they have that obelisk going back to ancient Babylon, okay? Going back to uh, ancient Egypt, okay? And this is speaking about America. In that day, five of Egypt's cities will follow Yahweh's heaven, heaven's army. So five goes into power, and these would be the, the little sanctuaries that the Lord Yahweh Shai would be dealing with. Okay, and they would be speaking the Hebrew language. They would be calling upon the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay, in the Hebrew, because the name, uh, the words in the Hebrew, the things uttered in the Hebrew has more power than any other language. Okay, when you read the apographer, uh, you know, the prologue of the of, of Ecclesia, of Sirach, and the apographer, right? Let's read this in the NLT, or Saki, the King James Version. In that day, five cities in the land of Egypt, yeah, speaking about America today, America is spiritually known as Egypt, going into the bondage that we're in. Right? Speak the language of Canaan, which is the Hebrew language, as you see in the NLT, as I just read. Okay, And swear to Yahweh of hosts, yeah, heaven of armies, one shall be called the city of destruction. This is Babylon the Great. Okay, This is Babylon the Great, the city of great destruction. The city of what? Hellenopolis. They worship the sun. Okay, The sun is everywhere when you look at their actual, um, every time they're promoting something, they have the sun worship. Okay? <laughs> So going back to this, Mark 16 and 17, and these signs, right? Yeah, Mark 16 and 16. He that believeth is baptized shall be saved, and he that is believeth shall be shall be not damned. So in that believing is also a spiritual power. Baptizing in what? The name. Okay, the name of Yahabba Shemashai. Ephesians 5 and 26, the washing and the cleaning of the word. Okay, we're able to be baptized what spiritually. Okay. It says, and these signs shall follow them that believe, and the name shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues, and they shall take up. It says, and they shall take up serpents, and if drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Okay, and even that's going on right now. My brothers speaking to certain brothers that are of the elect, they're able to be healed by the by their word. Okay, but in that day, also we're going to have what spiritual powers? Okay, or the elect will. Right, we're praying that we have that those spiritual powers, right? Because it's going to be ugly. Mark sixteen and eighteen, they will be able to handle snakes with safety, and if they drink anything poisonous, it won't hurt them. They will be able to place their hands on the sick, and they will be healed. Okay, so it's going down. Okay, so the only people getting spiritual powers are the children of Israel. Okay, let's get another one. Isaiah forty one. And just that fact alone that uh, when you see these certain things, these superpowers, knowing that those are those are the Israelites, okay, that that, that uh, Marvel, Marvel and, and uh, these different uh, movies, okay, uh, Marvel and, and Comic-Con and all this, all this is centered around the children of Israel, okay, when you look at the things they have done before, okay, and they're going to do again, right? Isaiah 41 and 15, yeah. Yeah. 
So, yeah, this chapter is fire. So Isaiah 41 and 12 in the NLT, it says, you will look at, it says, you will look in vain for those who tried to conquer you. Those who attack you will come to nothing. For I hold you by the right hand, I, the Lord, thy power, and I say to you, don't be afraid. I am here to help you. Though you are a lowly worm. Yeah, so we're, we're just lowly, meek and lowly, right? Though you are a lowly worm, you know, a worm is what defenseless, right? Doesn't have no no guns, no, no ICBM missiles, you know. Though you are a lowly worm, O Jacob, don't be afraid, people of Israel. So Jacob is all, uh, the northern and southern tribes, the two witnesses, right? Don't be afraid, people of Israel, for I will help you. I am the Lord Yahweh, your Redeemer. I am the Holy One of Israel. You will be a new threshing instrument, okay, with many sharp teeth. You will tear your enemies apart, making chaff of the mountains, okay? So when you, um, you know, say you have a fireplace, right, and then all the, you know, all the wood is burned, okay, then that chaff would be the, the things that are at the bottom, nothing but dust, okay, waste, right? And that's how it's going to be in that day. A new threshing instrument, threshing, okay? Let's just look up this word and see if it... Thresh. Thresh. Separate grain, right, from a plant, typically with the flail of action revolving mechanism. Spelling of thrash, okay? Let's see if it's got anything else. Yep, it says threshing. The... <laughs> It says uh, to trample out, yeah, to get to get stomped out, right? Uh, threshing. All right. Okay, we get the point. So a new threshing instrument with sharp teeth. Okay, with sharp teeth. Oh, let me look it up here. <coughs> Okay, it's not popping up, but I'll, I'll just keep going. Isaiah 41 and 15, it says, You will be a new threshing instrument with many sharp teeth. You will tear your enemies apart, making chaff of mountains. You will toss them into the air. You will toss them into the air. So to toss someone around is, is you know what I mean, is not many people can do it. Okay, but in that day, the Lord's elect, they're going to be able to do it. You will toss them into the air, and wind will blow them all away. Yeah, so uh, like uh, Hancock. Okay, the movie Hancock, it showed the, the powers that um, Will Smith had, right? A whirlwind will scatter them. Yeah, a whirlwind will scatter them. Then you will rejoice in Yahweh, and you will glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor and needy search for water, and there is none, their tongues are parched from the thirst. I, Yahweh, will answer them. I, thy power of Israel, will never abandon them. So the Lord's not going to abandon us. He's given us this truth. Okay, let's go back to this. King James Version, Isaiah 41 and 15. Behold, I will make thee a new, okay, which, uh, let's see if this word new, what it says, it's the same word, no, it's Hades, okay. Strong's H 2319, Hadash, Hadash. Okay, but what does it say? Refresh, okay, just like King David, okay, just like what Samson, right? See the real word, see if it says anything. Yeah, renew. Okay, renew. Strong's age 2318. Hadash. Hadash. Hadash, right? To be new. Renew. Okay, re meaning it had to be already there. Renew, repair. How is the Lord repairing us with this knowledge, wisdom, understanding? That with our, our true power, nothing can be able to stop us. Okay, rebuild. What is the Lord doing? He's rebuilding with that spiritual temple. Okay. So he's renewing that power as far as mentally and spiritually first. And then at the end, the Lord's going to lift up that standard for his elect. Okay. New. Right. Teeth. Which is, which is a form of when he, Strong's age 6374. Pifioth. Pifioth. Yeah. Two edge. Let's see what the real word says. Strong's age 6366. Ayah. Okay, and what does it say? The sword. Okay, we know the sword is what Esau Edom's blessing. So the Lord's going to give us those spiritual powers, which will be our sword. Right? Let's see, we got it. Okay. 
So that's that word teeth. And usually that's referred to as what uh, their military. So but the Lord's going to give that to what is elect. And thou shalt thresh. Strong's H, 1758. First century. Douche. Douche. Okay, douche. Second entry. Dosh. Dosh. Yeah. So they're going to third be entry. Dish. Dish. Okay. The point is that they're going to be trampled down. Okay. And when you have those horses, they have those hooves. Okay. And if anybody gets into those horses, what happens? They're basically stomped out. Okay. And that's what the Lord spoke about. And what is that? I believe Micah 4, I read that in. Okay, as far as the hooves, they shall have new horns and hooves. Yet to be able to trample, to thresh, to beat. Okay, like the chaff. What is chaff, right? I just. Strong's age, 4671. Moats. Moats. Go to the root word of this. Yeah, oppressor. Because these things, they're going to be oppressing upon what Esau eat it. Because he's gonna, he, he thought that he was in good case, and now what? He's being stomped out, being in brought in hardcore slavery. Okay, Isaiah forty-one and sixteen: Thou shalt fan them, okay, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and the Lord Yahweh and Saki, and thou shalt rejoice in Yahweh and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, glory in the Holy One of Israel, because the Lord's gonna lift up that standard. Okay, let me get that Isaiah fifty-nine and nineteen. Because the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your works in vain. Isaiah 59 and 19, so shall, the name, so shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west. And are we in the west, far as Babylon the great? And his glory rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, they come in with their super soldiers, their drones, and, and their military, all these different things that they have, right? Their heart machines. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against it. Okay? Again, a superpower. Superpowers. Strong's H fifty one twenty seven. Noose. Noose. Okay. To flee, to escape, to escape what? When Esau Edom's coming in with his super soldiers, with martial law. Okay, to flee to a time of Jacob's trouble, to flee, to escape, to take flight, to take flight. If you look at the, what is that movie, Power, okay, I believe with, uh, it has Jamie Foxx in it, okay, you have the movie with uh, Vin Diesel, okay, where he has the, the red eye, uh, Captain America, okay, the, the super soldier, uh, uh, winter, winter super soldier. Okay, these different Marvel characters, right, they're able to take flight, to depart, to disappear, Okay, they're able to be invisible, right? To fly, to take, to attack, to drive out, to take flight, to cause, to disappear, to hide, okay? To drive hastily, to take flight. And it spoke about the wind, okay? You should be thrown around like the wind, okay? Uh, Black Panther, all these all these different Marvel characters, okay, are, are actually about the children of Israel. To flee, to put to flight, lift up that standard, okay? To vanish away. Yeah, to be able to fly, okay? And this, again, this is something that you have to believe in. You have to believe that Yahweh Shema Shai is our Savior, okay? And that is our trust, right? So I ended in here. Joshua 20, 23 and 6. Be therefore very courageous to keep... Keep and to do all that is within the book of the law of Moses, that you turn not aside, therefore, to the right hand or to the left. Okay, going into uh, to the best of your ability, rehearsing the righteous acts. Okay, going down that straight path. Right. It says, "They that come not among these nations, these that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their other gods, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow them." bow yourselves unto them and a lot of people are going to bow down to the mark of the beast they're going to bow down to esau edom and his false gods and false idols right but cleave unto yahweh bashim yahweh your power as you have done unto this day for yahweh had had driven out from before you great nations and strong but as for you no man had been able to stand before you unto this day one man of you shall chase a thousand for yahweh thy power 
he is that fight it for you as he had promised you. So our Lord is the one that's going to fight for us. Take good heed, therefore, unto yourselves that you love Yahweh thy power. Okay, take good heed. Okay. So let's read this in the NOT. It says, Joshua 23 and 8. Rather, cling tightly to Yahweh, your, your power, as you have done unto now. For Yahweh has driven out, driven out great and powerful nations for you, and no one has yet been able to defeat you. Each one of you will be put to flight. A thousand of an enemy for Yahweh thy power fights for you just as he promised. So be very careful to love Yahweh by Shemel Ashai. Okay? So we're supposed to be very careful in what we're, um, you know, pay, paying attention to, what we're giving our energy to. Okay? Because if you're not giving your energy to Yahweh by Shemel Ashai, you're going to get caught up in the destruction. Okay? I'll end it right here. This is... Um, Yep. And this is when the Lord Yahweh Shai comes to what uh, visit this place. Okay. Habakkuk 3. Because I know there was another. Okay. I'll start, I'll end the right. This is Habakkuk 3 and 12 in the NLT. You marched across the land in anger. You trampled the nations in your fury. This is speaking about Yahweh Shai. You went out to rescue your chosen people to save your anointed ones, right? The elect. You crushed the heads of the wicked and stripped their bones from the head to toe with his own weapons. Okay, with his own weapons, you destroyed the chief of those who rushed out of the whirlwind, thinking Israel would be easy prey. With their own weapons. Who is the Lord's own weapons? First of all, these ICBM missiles, but also those new threshing instruments. Okay? Those superpowers that the, the, the elect are going to have. Right? Habakkuk 3 and 15. You trampled the sea with your horses. It says you trampled the sea with your horses and your mighty waters piled high. Okay? I trembled inside when I heard this. Yeah, because uh, Habakkuk heard that speech and he was afraid. Right? I trembled inside when I heard this. My lips quivered with fear. My legs gave my gave way beneath me and i shook in terror i will wait quietly for the coming day when disaster will strike the people who invade us even though the fig trees have not blossoms and there are no grapes on the vines even though the olive crop fails and the fields lie empty and barren even though the flocks die in the fields and the cattle burn the cattle barns are empty yet i will rejoice in yahweh i will be joyful in the most high of my salvation the sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes me a sure-footed as a deer, able to tread upon the heights. For the for the choir director, this prayer is to be accomplished by the string instruments. Okay, because this is a new song. Okay, so when you look at those sure-footed deer, they're they're climbing up the mounts. Okay, and that's how going to be how it's going to be in that day, far as the all the carnage and destruction. But the Lord's going to guide our steps. Let's read this in the NLT. Habakkuk three and nineteen. The Lord Yahweh, thy power is my strength. He will make my feet like hen's feet, and he will make me to walk upon my high places to the chief singer on my string instruments. Okay, singing what this new song. It also reminds me of this scripture right here. And I'll end it in here because the Lord's going to tread upon their high places. Okay, this is Deuteronomy 33. Yep. Deuteronomy 33 and 27. The eternal power is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. Yeah, the power. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee and shall destroy them. Israel then shall dwell safely alone, and the fountain of Jacob shall be upon the land of the corn and the wine. Also in heaven shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by Yahweh, thy shield of thy help. Who is thy sword of thy excellency, and thy enemy shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. So that's a twofold scripture. We're treading upon their high places as far as this word going to the gates of the nobles, but also our Lord Yahweh Shai, uh, you know, circling around what Esau Edom's uh, uh, inhabitants as far as Basra, and what destroying and what saving the Lord's elect. Okay, let me read this again. Deuteronomy 33 and 29. Happy O thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by Yahweh, thy shield of thy help, who is thy sword of thy excellency, and thy enemy shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. So with that, call Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai Ba Shim Kakoda Shalom to Alek Kwam Yashawah.